I welcome you to this um, science paper on 2023 GCE the presentation. So if you are new to this channel, kindly subscribe for more videos and ensure that you write and comment if this video is useful to you. Okay, so in this video specifically, we are going to answer question um, B, 8 from section e, B. So the question is saying uh, figure B9.1 shows radiations P, Q and R passing uh, through an electric field. So this one here, it is an electric field. Now on the electric field, we, are, we have two charges. The first one here, it is um, the positive charge and also the negative charge. Apart from that one, we have uh, the, radio, uh, the radioactive source. So the radioactive source, it is emitting the radiations. So the radioactive source is emitting the radiations. Now in this case here, we have um, the positive charge on the right side and the negative charge on the left side where we are having the electric field. Okay, so now on this part E, um, as for R, R has bent toward the, the negative charges for some reasons. Then as for P, has bent to the positive charge for some reason. And then as for Q, is traveling straight. As for Q, is traveling straight. Now before I answer the questions, let me try to explain a little bit on this part here. So, as for radiations, we have three types of radiations. The first one being here, it is a gamma radiation. The first one being here, it is gamma radiation. Or we can say why radiation. Apart from gamma radiation, we also have alpha radiation. We also have alpha radiation. Okay. Then the last one, we have um, the beta radiation. Now, on this part here, on this part here, I've started with the gamma radiation. So, I'm going to say gamma radiation, it has zero charge or it is neutral in nature, which means this gamma radiation has no charge. As the result, this gamma ray or gamma radiation cannot be affected by electric current or electric field. Let me say electric field. So a gamma radiation cannot be affected by electric field. As the result, gamma radiation travels in a straight line. It can't be affected by a magnetic field and also electric field. Apart from that one, we also have um, the alpha radiation. This alpha radiation, it is positively charged in nature. This alpha radiation is positively charged in nature. Now, since here we are saying alpha particle is positively charged in nature, which means our alpha particle here is not going to be P. Mind you, P is not the alpha. P is not the alpha. The reason why P is bending toward the positive charges is because for some reason I'm going to explain here. So I'm going to say R is the alpha. Let's imagine if R is the alpha E. Then on the lights on the on the light, on the left side we are saying uh, we are having negative charges. As for uh, unlikely uh, terminals or charges, they attract. I'm saying unlikely terminals they do at attract, which means if we say R here it is positively charged, which means um, R is going to be attracted to the negative terminals or charges. So let me repeat on this one here. Alpha particle is positively charged in nature. Alpha particle is positively charged in nature. Now since here I'm saying alpha particle is positively charged in nature, which means if we say P is alpha particle, which means here there will be repulsion because like the terminal Z, they repel. Like the terminal Z, they repel because positive here on the right side we are having positive charge. So if we say P, which means here there will be repulsion, as a result, um, the alpha particle is going to bend toward the negative charges since the alpha particle is positively charged in nature. Okay, so as for R, I'm going to say it is the alpha 
particle. Then as for Q, since I was saying uh, gamma radiation has no charge or it is neutral. As the result, it is not affected by magnetic field and electric current or electric field. So in this case here, as for gamma radiation, it is going to travel in a straight line. So I'm going to say gamma radiation, it is Q. Then as for B, B is going to be beta radiation because beta radiation is negatively charged in nature. Beta radiation is negatively charged in nature. As the result, if we say P is C, beta particle, and then we know that beta radiation or beta particle is negatively charged in nature, we are going to find that there will be attraction between the positive charge and also the negative charge of P here, which is the beta particle. So as for P is C, the beta particle. Okay, so the question is saying, now, before I answer also the questions, let me also explain a little bit on this part here in terms of penetration and ionization. So, since I'm saying Q is the, um, the gamma radiation, now what you need to understand here is that gamma radiation has high penetration. As the result, it can be only stopped by a sheet of lead, which is the metal, metal lead. Okay, so I'm saying gamma radiation has high penetration as the result it can be stopped by a sheet of lead which is the metal okay apart from that one p we have mentioned that p is the beta particle a beta particle it has also a strong ionized a strong uh, penetration but it can be stopped by a sheet of aluminium so a type of radiation which is which can which can be stopped by a sheet of aluminium it is a beta particle and a type of radiation which can be stopped by a sheet of lead here it is a gamma radiation and remember gamma radiation has strong penetration no penetration more than the beta particle and the alpha particle Okay, so as for R, we have identified that R is the alpha particle. Now, as for the alpha particle, this alpha particle, it has in a weak penetration. As a result, it can be stopped by a sheet of paper. As for the alpha particle, it can be stopped by a sheet of paper. So now the question is saying, which is question A, identify the emission, the emission P and D, Q. So as for P, I have mentioned that P is the beta Particle because beta particle is positively charged in nature as a result there will be attraction between the positive charges and the, the beta particle which is having the negative charges. Then as for Q, Q is traveling in a straight line so I was saying Q is the gamma radiation or gamma emission. As for P we can say a beta emission or beta radiation and then as for Q we can say gamma radiation or gamma emission. Then as for question B saying give one use of emission q as for q we have said this one here it is gamma so i'm going to say gamma radiation is used in the treatment of cancer because of high penetration so it is used in the treatment in the treatment of cancer cells it is used in the treatment of cancer cells then as for c which is um which is saying um mention two differences between emission z p and d R. So as for P, P I have mentioned that P it is the beta particle. Then as for R, it is the alpha particle. Now, here I'm going to say P as Z uh, strong penetration while R as Z weak penetration. So I'm saying P it is the beta particle. So the beta particle has a strong penetration while R which is Z alpha particle as weak penetration okay so apart from that one i'm going to talk of the nature that they have so i forgot to tell you on this part here as for the beta radiation or beta emission it has the nature to that of an electron and we know that electrons are negatively charged in nature so i'm going to say p as the nature to that of an electron while R, which is alpha particle, as the nature to that of helium. So I'm saying, as for R, it is the alpha radiation or emission. So as for R, which is alpha emission or radiation, it, 
it has a nature to that of o idiom okay so r as the nature to that of idiom and p as the nature to that of an electron okay so as for an electron is it is negatively charged in nature so i would, like they were saying um as for roman numeral number one p has strong penetration while r as weak penetration then as for roman numeral number two i'm saying um p it has nature it has a nature to that of an electron while r as the nature to that of idiom or you can say um p it is negatively charged in nature while r is positively charged in nature since r is the alpha particle i hope you have enjoyed this presentation uh, kindly subscribe to my youtube channel and ensure that you share the video and also comment in the comment section. See you next time. Bye.